Aries, sun, moon, rising sign. This is your July 2023. It's going to be a lucky money month for you. Get ready for some good surprises in that area of your life. And you'll also find that you're able to get better handle on your work and health routines in a way that is quite refreshing. And finally, you'll feel a little bit more in control as well as directional in work and health. Let's get going and talk about it, how this plays out in July 23 for you. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lori Lothian, and I am a Hellenistic astrologer using Western Tropical Zodiac and the whole side house system. Listen for your rising sign for the most accurate delineation, then your sun and moon. Hey, I have a promotion going on. Do you want to check it out? It's all signs 2023 horoscopes that were for sale for $47 are now free. That's going to give you 12 videos are each or 60 minutes. So you'll have access to those unlisted videos as soon as you do something for me. <laughs> this is your ethical bribe. Sign up for my Cosmic Moonshine newsletter. That is how to sign up for that weekly forecast newsletter is in the description box below. It's my yearly build my newsletter drive and I always give something away. Usually it's this. So jump on in. This deal does not go any further than August the 1st and then I'm closing the door. So if you want to get that content for free and be a part of my newsletter, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't like my newsletter. This is your opportunity. Description box underneath the video and the more section is where you find all of the links about everything I do. All right, Aries, I'm one of you, Aries, sun and moon. Let's get talking about it. Number one, this is a month in which a couple of interesting developments are ongoing. And just so you know, you're ruled by Mars, right? Mars is the ruler of Scorpio and the ruler of Aries in ancient astrology. We will be talking a bit about Mars's ingress into your sixth house a bit later. That's a big deal. But before we begin on any of this stuff about your luck and your money luck and your health and routines, let's talk about the elephant in the old July room. The difficulty of a Pluto square the nose of fate event that happens around the 18th of the month of July and continues to influence you through to the end of August. All of us are experiencing this energy, but because you're an Aries, it's angular energy to where you are in your life. For example, let's talk about Pluto. He's been moving through your 10th house of career and reputation since 2008. There's very few Aries, sun, moon, or rising people, especially rising, who haven't changed their job, career path, at least once, and transformed themselves like a butterfly into something new. I'm one of you. I changed my career. I was not doing a full-time astrology in 2008. I was working in the magazine industry. Well, actually, there are three careers that have happened since 2008. Okay? So basically, this is the tail end of that long Pluto transit through your 10th house since 2008, completing in the fall of 2024. This last energy is intense as Pluto comes into a once every 20 year possibility, but even rarer, this last happened in 18, 1764, where Pluto and Capricorn square the North Node in Aries and the South Node in Libra. This critical tension in your sky mid-July is tension between your sense of sent identity and self, clients, audience, marketplace, and significant business partners or marriage type partnerships and your career path as you power up to the grand finale of success and all of this butterfly transformation of career and purpose, the Capricorn 10th house. So look for some tension in the middle of July through to the end of the summer, maybe with a business partner, maybe through your clients, maybe with your audience and marketplace. I'm taking time off mid-July through the end of August. So I think the tension will be inward with me as I contemplate the meaning of my career path. But for some of you who are ensconced in career success and going full bore, if that's your life, then this is going to be a moment of come to Jesus tension about something to do with that part of your path. And it can be very much in, in, uh, uh, literally out picturing as a need to let go of that audience marketplace or even that relationship that could hold you back from true great gains from your career that you're going to experience through next year, 24 to 2044, as you're going to get increasingly wealthy. So there's your little lecture to expect that tension mid-July to the end of August. And then we're going to break up now and down into the details of the sky in the in the month of july the beginning of july august 1st and 2nd is mercury in the heart of the sun at nine degrees of cancer this is a very gentle and very beautiful mercury kazemi this is going to happen in your fourth house of property land home and real estate where you live including your home and homeland and there is a trine a flow to a happy slow to sex uh, saturn in your 12th house of foreign lands and travel backroom deals and negotiations addictions and self-undoing can be there but also 
revenue from foreign shores and lands that you're trying to stabilize over the next three years if you make money from foreigners or foreign customers or clients from your birthplace. There's a bit of love in the sky from a Mercury Kazemi giving you a new idea, a new download, or a new insight into how you can sell market merchandise or make money through communication from your home in a more lucrative way in your life but if it involves foreigners and foreign lands. Otherwise, you're stabilizing things from home to do with self-undoing and self-defeating habits, including addictions. Then you also have a, tri- a sextile to Jupiter in the house of earnings, voice, vocation, but also things you put in your mouth. You may come across a perfect opportunity on how to quit vaping and do it almost instantly or something around an aha download. Oh, I think I vape because I couldn't suck my thumb when I was a kid. Now I understand my problem that my mother got me stuck in and I'm not going to do this anymore. And suddenly you're no longer vaping, cigarette smoking or whatever. But there's this energy of breaking through here, but in a sweet, positive way. And Jupiter can also bring a money opportunity through property, homeland, real estate, or foreign lands, foreign shores, or revenue from that place. And that looks like something coming off of the July 1st and 2nd time frame. Now, just right in the same time frame, around the 2nd of July, Venus will square Uranus for the first of three times. She squares Uranus also on August 2nd and September 29th. If I'm talking too fast for you, slow the playback speed rather than complain in the comments. It's free to do that on YouTube. So because of the square to Uranus being the first of three, it's probably not everything you see is all at once. But basically, what it seems to be about is Venus is moving through your fifth house of money luck, gaming casino speculation speculative risks in the stock market even and this kind of speculation that brings financial luck is also your house of romantic love entrepreneurship sexuality venus has been here since june 5th and will continue to travel through here to october the 8th glowing up this part of your world now she squares uranus on july the 2nd and uranus is in your money and earnings house there's a square between the house of children independent entrepreneur and business enterprise lovers romance and money luck and it's a jolt from jupiter uranus in your second house but jupiter is there making it all very santa claus like in fact aries are experiencing a financial expansion until next may 24th as jupiter travels through your second planting golden eggs of prosperity for you that some of them will hatch now and some will hatch much later so there's some kind of unpredictable unexpected money thing going on earnings money thing going on with that Venus square Uranus on July 2nd, but it has to unfold over August 9th and September 29th, give or take a few days. So how that looks in the long run is to be determined. I will add to that that starting on July 11th, Mercury joins Venus in this part of your chart, and that makes gaming and games of chance ever more lucrative. Having the two of them here during July 11th to 29th as the stay that Mercury has in your fifth house is exceedingly positive for financial prosperity in very lucky ways or your entrepreneurial business taking off or your creativity and your muse on frigging fire especially for writing and communicating speaking and doing uh, more performance stuff now Venus here for four months hasn't happened since the summer of 2015. So I did mention that already. So go back to that and think about what you were up to in the summer of June through October 2015 to get insights into how this may play out in your life again uh, for that sense of luck and prosperity, sexuality and romance and attention to your children as well. Maybe enjoying your children more, leisure, pleasure, travel and romantic travels as well. Um, I think back to the summer of 2015, 16, 17, I was making some trips to my cottage by myself, enjoying leisure travel alone, um, having some more fun with my daughter. I think those are the things I remember the most, but it's kind of a really lovely placement because Venus is in the house of her joy. So you're having a very enjoyable June, July, August, September regarding sexuality, love, pleasure, romance, children, entrepreneurial stuff, and money luck. Now, on july the 7th to the 10th mercury gets in a uh, in a flow a flow with uranus uranus in the house of money and resources and possessions and money you take possession of jupiter is luck and then mercury is sudden unexpected um, connections to that whoa big jolts of whatever but it involves land home property and real estate between july 7th and 10th it has something to do with things that are going in on in and from your home generating unexpected revenue or financial gain 
could be an opportunity to buy a house, sell a house or rent a house. And I'm going to say rent a house for one reason, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, there is this opposition, temporary fleeting around the 10th and 11th of July between Mercury in Cancer, Pluto in Capricorn. That fleeting contact is going to be a bit of a tension here between things going on in your career and reputation space and your home life. Look for this tussle going on, but it breaks through with Iranian excitement in the earnings place. So could be exciting, but also look for some kind of difficult communications going on in and from your home regarding things to do with your career and your work reputation. I mean, I almost wanted to say, you know, uh, no, no publicity is bad publicity. So if something negative happens, almost like, you know, notoriety can be useful because public reputation, Pluto in the top can make you look like a bad person in the public eye all of a sudden. But, you know, all said and done, it brings more prosperity in a sudden dramatic rags to riches way, possibly. Um, you do have July. Uh, so then we're going to talk about Mars. Mars is moving into the house of tenancies, rentals, pets, uh, debts, real and, and a karmic uh, health routines and work. He's going into that part of your chart July 10th and doesn't leave for six weeks. Certainly it drives you. He's in a house of his joy and you're driven. You're passionate, your willpower and drive are focused around the word work, work and service, work routines, work habits, um, better actions to take better health measures, to eliminate oh, things that, that are difficult for your body and health, to be more uh, focused on moving your body, maybe your exercise to pre prevent sickness. July 10th adds six weeks. But also this transit is involving a, a rentals and agreements place of the sky starting in July 10th. And it will reflect back perhaps something that Mercury was up to before July 11th as he was traveling through your fourth house of property and home. And then Mars in your sixth house on July 10th. And Mercury still in your sixth house on July 10th means there could be some contract agreement negotiation around property, land, rentals, and situations to do with the home. Maybe even for some of you, mortgages and buying and selling because Mars rules a house of mortgages for you. Um, I mean, proactively, it looks like July 10th involves a lot of good things in that regard. On July the 18th to the 22nd, Mars does get into a tussle with Saturn. This is frustration, difficulty, it's stop, start, it's push, gas pedal, hit the brake, all at the same time. And this is going to be July 18th to the 22nd. It involves Virgo energy and it involves Piscean energy. It's your 6th, 12th house axis. So Saturn is giving you a lot of chances over the next three years to create greater stability in foreign land revenue, uh, get a handle on your spiritual life, have a spiritual depth and awakening of your soul, get in contact with how you no longer need to be a uh, you know self-saboteur with addictions. Okay, that's kind of a theme there. You might want to be alone, more solitude, more aloneness. You're looking for wisdom. You're contemplating your navel. All of this is going to be true till 2020. Six, but then there's this tension in the sky, tension in the sky, tension in the sky, July 18th to the 22nd, Mars is ambitious, he's striving to get something done, he's breaking the habits and patterns, he's cutting through new territory, he's doing all this in Virgo, so he's very practical, he's focused on health, for sure, and all this tension from Saturn kiboshing things in the 12th house, I don't know, Saturn could be someone who doesn't have your back, who's trying to undo your momentum uh, behind the scenes. Saturn could be an elderly relative in the hospital who's you're going to have to take time off from this intensity of passion around the work you're up to. It's just going to be a window of frustration July 18th to the 22nd. Venus retrogrades on the 22nd of July in your fifth house of romance, lovers and children, and entrepreneurial and creative projects. You go back uh, July 22nd to September 4th and revise the manuscript, repaint the painting, redo the song. You'll go back and I'll see an old lover and an old lover will visit you or you may find yourself in contact with a child that you've been in touch with or going to see them or they come into contact with you. That is all true. Uh, July 22nd to September 4th and there's a retrograde cycle that begins at the end of July. Now, and that, that said, and the end of the month is going to bring in some interesting developments because on July 22nd to the 25th, because Venus is going to get in this tango as well, retrograde though, on July 22nd to July 25th, there is a tension between Mercury, the messenger, the news god, uh, the marketing and selling god, in your fifth house of money, luck, speculation, lotteries, and lottery, lottery wins. 
And Mercury is going to square Uranus in the house of financial assets, pay, uh, possessions, earnings. And Jupiter's there making things big, bigger. Golden eggs are being planted in your second house. But then there's a square from Mercury on the 22nd of July to the 25th. But the good news is on the 27th, 28th, it all comes home to a happy ending. So some unexpected, exciting developments on the 22nd to 25th of the month, culminating on the 27th, 28th in a Venus conjunct Mercury. Now it's retrograde, bringing financial bonus points on the game board of life. Can be a casino win, lottery win, um, some kind of weird money coming at you from some left field place that you didn't expect, which is very, very positive and very exciting. Or a creative project idea that just blows you away and is a divine inspiration or some kind of really positive, deeper level of communication in a romantic relationship or some kind of breakthrough in your entrepreneurial business or news that you're pregnant or your partner is pregnant because Venus is a pregnancy transit. I forgot to mention, uh, she can make you very pregnant as she travels through June through October and Mercury will be the news that the test is positive uh, around July 27th, 28th. If you're thinking of having a child and you are a fertile a father mother type person. So you or your partner experiencing the news that pregnancy is a hoy um and that's about it i hope you enjoyed that i think it's going to be a very auspicious money luck time at the end of july for a lot of aries sun moon and rising if you have a stellium in aries like i do four planets in aries but my sun and moon are there too certainly that's going to have a lot of weight so i people ask me should i pay attention to my rising sign or sun and moon your rising sign is in general most accurate but if you have a sun and moon in another sign well certainly of course at least then pay attention to that other sign as well and let's get uh finished up here don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you like this kind of content from me, 30 videos a month, don't forget to check out my description box for everything I have to offer. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for being here and have a wonderful July. Wishing you and me a lot of luck at the end of the month of July in our money stories.